السلام علیکم سکس پی ایم دس از ریڈیو پاکستان دا نیوز ریڈ بائی سمیرا کامل فرسٹ ہیڈ لائنس کیئر ٹیکر پرائم منسٹر ہیز ڈائریکٹڈ ٹو پریپیئر کمپریہنسو میکنزم ٹو پرووائڈ فری اینڈ کمپلسری ایجوکیشن ٹو چلڈرن کیئر ٹیکر انفارمیشن منسٹر سیز دا گورنمنٹ از کمیٹڈ ٹو فائل ڈیزائنز آف اینٹی اسٹیٹ ایلیمنٹس پلاننگ ٹو ڈیریل الیکٹورل پروسیس Chief Justice of Pakistan has assured the people affected by the Amir Bhasha Dam to resolve their issues in accordance with law. Pakistan and Germany have signed a memorandum of understanding on promotion of renewable energy. In Afghanistan, at least 20 people were killed in militants attack in Sayyad, the district of Saripul province today. And now the news in detail. Caretaker Prime Minister Justice Retired Nasirul Mulk has directed to prepare a comprehensive and robust mechanism to provide free and compulsory education to all children of the age of 5 to 16 years. Chairing a briefing in Islamabad today, he gave instructions to implement Article 25A of the Constitution in letter and spirit to ensure child's right to education. The Prime Minister also directed to accommodate a maximum number of youth from the victim families of Mastung in the existing training programs of National Vocational and Technical Training Commission, enabling them to earn livelihoods and provide financial support to their families. He was informed that the National Education Policy 2018 has been finalized and a National Curriculum Council has also been established for the purpose of standardization of the curriculum across the country. Caretaker Minister for Information and Broadcasting Sayyid Ali Zafar has expressed the government's resolve to counter the anti-state elements planned to derail electoral process. Addressing a function at Rawalpindi High Court Bar Association today, he said elements have been involved at domestic and external level to sabotage elections. The minister stressed the need for foiling designs of anti-statement elements through unity at national level. He said that the federal government, provincial governments, intelligence agencies, law enforcement agencies, political parties and the civil society should have one direction to hold elections peacefully. Chairman Pakistan People's Party Bilawal Bhutto Zardari has said his party's manifesto and ideology is receiving good response from the masses. Addressing a news conference in Islamabad today, he pointed out that his party is focusing on party manifesto and resolution of the problems of the people in the election campaign. Later, addressing a public rally in Barakau this afternoon, he said Pakistan People's Party has always initiated programs to eradicate poverty. Chairman Pakistan People's Party Bilawal Bhutto Zardari says if voted to power, our party will create employment opportunities according to its manifesto. He said if our party comes to power, it will grant interest-free loans to women to empower them. Affectees of Damir Bhasha Dam met the Chief Justice of Pakistan, Justice Mian Saqib Nisar, today during his visit to Gilgit, Baltistan. They presented application to Chief Justice that their land was acquired for construction of dam, but they have not yet been awarded compensation and requested that concerned authorities may be directed to release the compensation. Chief Justice assured that their issues will be resolved in accordance with law. Moreover, he visited different areas of Gilgit, Baltistan, including Naltar, Hunza, Altit Fort, Baltit Fort, and Atabat Lake and was warmly welcomed by locals. They also discussed their issues with him and presented applications to redress their grievances. Islamabad High Court today adjourned hearing into appeals filed by Nawaz Sharif, Maryam Nawaz and retired Captain Muhammad Safdar against their conviction in Evan Field reference by Accountability Court till last week of this month. Division bench comprising Justice Mohsen Akhtar Kiani and Justice Mia Gul Hassan Aurangzeb is hearing the appeals. Advocate Khwaja Haris submitted arguments in the appeals of Nawaz Sharif while the appeals of Maryam Nawaz and retired Captain Muhammad Safdar were pleaded by Amjad Parvez. The convicts had filed appeals for setting aside the accountability court's verdict, suspending the verdict till adjudication of the appeals and granting them bail and transferring the remaining Al-Azizia and flagship references against Nawaz Sharif and his family members to another court. This is Radio Pakistan. 
A memorandum of understanding on renewable energy has been signed between Pakistan and Germany. German ambassador in Pakistan Martin Kobler and Information Minister Ali Zafar signed the MOU. Talking on the occasion in Samabar today, Information Minister said the government is making guidelines for energy sector which will benefit coming generations. He said there is a need to establish energy projects on the pattern of developed countries. According to Inter-Services Public Relations, Major General Mozam Ijaz of Pakistan Army has been promoted to the rank of Lieutenant General. In occupied Kashmir, the joint resistance leadership comprising Sayyid Ali Gilani, Mirwais Umar Farooq and Muhammad Yasin Malik has denounced the lodging of Dukhtarane Millat, Chairperson Asiya Andrabi and her associates Fahmida Sofi and Nahida Nasreen at New Delhi's notorious Tehar Jail on a 30-day judicial remand by Indian authorities. According to Kashmir Media Service, the resistance leadership in a statement issued in Sirinagar today said that the Indian National Investigation Agency's adventurism in occupied Kashmir is part of India's attempts to intimidate the pro-freedom leaders into submission. It appealed to the international human rights organizations to send their teams to occupied Kashmir and India to observe the plight of the Kashmiri detainees lodged in different jails. In Afghanistan, an Islamic State Subitite bomber blew himself in a mosque, killing at least 20 people, including a Taliban commander in Sarepul province. Provincial Council Chief Mohammad Noor Rahman said the explosion occurred when a funeral was taking place in a mosque. In Syria, at least 10 civilians were killed in a Russian airstrike on a school serving as a shelter near the Israeli frontier. Khalid Sol of the Syrian Civil Defense says the school building in the village of Anil Tane was being used to shelter families who have been forced to flee their homes amid the fighting. According to Syrian Observatory for Human Rights, more than 35 people have also been injured in the attack. Iran has filed a complaint with the International Court of Justice to hold the U.S. accountable for its re-imposition of unilateral sanctions. Iranian Foreign Minister Mohammad Javed Zarif said on Twitter that Iran is committed to the rule of law in the face of U.S. contempt for diplomacy and legal obligations. The Foreign Minister said that it is imperative to counter U.S. habit of violating international law. The third one-day international of five-match series between Pakistan and Zimbabwe will be played at Bulawayo tomorrow. Pakistan is leading the series 2-0. In second one-day at Bulawayo yesterday, Pakistan defeated hosts by nine wickets. And finally, the weather. Rain, thundershower with gusty winds is expected at scattered places in Malakhand, Hazara, Mardan, Peshawar, Kohat, Rawalpindi, Gujranwala, Lahore, Sargoda, Faisalabad divisions, Islamabad and Kashmir, while at isolated places in Bannu, Dera Ismail Khan, Bahawalpur, Sahiwal, Multan, Diji Khan, Mirpur Khas, Hyderabad, Job, Kalat divisions, Fata and Gilgit Baltistan during the next 24 hours. Heavy falls is likely to prevail at isolated places in Hazara, Mardan, Rawalpindi, Gujamwala, Lahore divisions, and Kashmir. To end the news, here are some of the headlines once again. Caretaker Prime Minister has directed to prepare a comprehensive mechanism to provide free and compulsory education to children. Caretaker Information Minister says the government is committed to foil designs of anti-state elements planning to derail electoral process. <music> Chief Justice of Pakistan has assured the people affected by the Amir Bhasha Dam to resolve their issues in accordance with law. <music> Pakistan and Germany have signed a memorandum of understanding on promotion of renewable energy. In Afghanistan, at least 20 people were killed in militants attacked in Sayada district of Saripul province today. And that is the end of the news. For more news and analyses, log on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch live streaming of our bulletins on the link facebook.com slash radio Pakistan News Official.